what's going on youtube today i'm going to show you guys how to mount your insta360 x4 or x3 on your e-bike bicycle or motorcycle that way you guys can get crazy angles like this this and this stay tuned i got all the tools that you need i'm going to show you guys exactly how i mounted mine and where you can get the uh, parts that you need for but first of all isn't this the sweetest e-bike sweetest folding e-bike you guys have seen this is my custom made e-bike but yeah let's get started on the video okay so now i'm behind the camera with a chest mount to get started you're gonna need these three things right here obviously you got a selfie stick and then you have these two right here this is exactly what you need there's gonna be a link in the description where you can get this on amazon it is an amazon affiliate link i got this one specifically because it's heavy duty i use it for a lot more than just mounting my camera to my bike but so this is the this is the one that I recommend. If you want the version that Insta360 makes, there's also gonna be a link in the description. But you definitely need these two right here. You can get away with one, but to be more secure, you don't wanna mess up your new camera. In my case, I have an X4. You're gonna need two of these. All right, so to mount these two, first thing you wanna do is you wanna find a spot on your bike where you can mount these two right here. That way it can give you that backwards drone-like camera angle and for me i'm gonna mount it on this right here and on this pole right here almost every bike has something like this and the thing is you want to make sure that when you pedal like this it does not hit this thing right here now this is an electric bike so i'm probably not going to be pedaling whenever i'm getting these angles i don't usually pedal but you're going to put it on it the next thing you want to do is Sometimes this takes a little bit of a, uh, a few tries to get exactly what you want. The next thing you're gonna do is put the selfie stick and into this part right here. And there's, I usually like a little bit of a hang, like right here. So once you put it in there, uh, don't tighten it all the way just yet because you might need to adjust it based on this. So with this, next thing you're gonna do is loosen it up a little bit. That way you can move it around, okay. So put the stick on there, and let's see. Okay, this, perfect. All right, so this will give you a, a little bit of a lower angle. So now I'm gonna lock this in place. And also lock this bottom one in place. and then lock this in place so this angle right here the selfie stick is going to come out like this this will give you a backwards angle it will show a good this right here will give you a backwards angle it will give you a good view of your uh your tire, your, your seat and everything. But you, you just have to make sure that when you secure everything, you double check it. See, this one is still loose. You double check it. You wanna make sure that it is completely secure, like very tight and secure because there's usually vibrations when you're riding because that stealthy stick is going to be bouncing up and down because of the weight of the camera especially having the x4 being heavier than the x3 so there's a little bit of a shake but that's fine as long as everything is secure yep that's not going anywhere all right this is a different view as you guys can see i have the clamps on the side of the bike holding the selfie stick. Like I said, I usually have a little bit of a hang and the selfie stick extends that way. That way you can capture the back of the bike in like a, a drone-like fashion. 
Now, I use a quick release. It makes it easier for me to take the selfie stick on and off. Just like that, you have the selfie stick on it. Whenever you put the selfie stick, the, cam the, uh, the camera on, this, on the selfie stick, you always wanna make sure that the screen is upwards. The reason why I personally have it upwards is if for some reason this breaks or anything like that, it reduces damage to the screen. I've done this multiple times. It has never uh, hit the ground. What you have to be careful of is you wanna be on a flat ground. You don't wanna be hitting a whole lot of bumps because then this is gonna be you know, hidden up and down. Now you can always raise that part up. That way the selfie stick is more upwards. But this right here is, is a little bit lower to the ground and I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so for the side view, here's how I mounted it. Personally, when I do side views, I usually just hold the selfie stick. But if you are on a motorcycle, holding the selfie stick while trying to do a side view is very, very dangerous. So if you have to mount it, you have to figure out how you can put it on your bike using these clamps. I have a folding bike, so if I mount it sideways, I'm not even gonna be able to pedal, but that's fine because I have an e-bike. So you have to figure out a way that these clamps can work on your bike. And as you can see, these things can open pretty wide. So now I have the selfie stick on the side and I'm gonna show you guys what the side angle view looks like. Okay, so now I have the stick mounted on the front. The front view is without a doubt the easiest part of this whole uh, type of thing. It's so easy because you have a bar right here, you can mount it easily and you can adjust it up or down. Once you find the level you want, you simply just lock everything up, you know, and all this, you pretty much just lock them up once you find your angle. And now I'm gonna get on the bike and show you what it looks like. Here's another use case for this thing right here. I took one of this thing off and I'm gonna add this right here. This you can easily get on Amazon. I'm also gonna put a link in the description. You're gonna put it on one hand, keep the other one up there. Put it on your um, handlebar, just like that. Put this lock it up put your quick release if you have a quick release put put it up there which in my case i always use a quick release once again i'm not trying to sell this i just i just believe in it well i just use it but have it mounted like this and then put your insta360 x2 or x4 or whatever you got x3 And just like that, now you have a vlogging style front view. But anyways, if you find the content of this channel useful, if this video has been helpful to you at all, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any requests in regards to the X4, drop a comment, I'll try to get to it if there's enough requests. Thank you guys so much for watching, peace.